learn today we will learn the regrouping activity so in previous standard we have learned ones tens and hundreds okay so we know 10 ones is equal to 110 and 10 tens is equal to 100 so we should know that how many ones is equal to 110 and how many tens is equal to 100 okay so this is very important for this regrouping activity okay. today we will learn counting and regrouping into 100 tens and ones okay so there are some cases okay so first case is if you have more than 10 ones okay if you have more than 10 ones so see this is the ones column and this is the tens column first step you have to count the how many ones are there okay we are counting now okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 okay so here 18 ones are there okay and we have to regroup into ones and tens that 18 ones we have to regroup into ones and tens okay so second step is that count the 10 bricks okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so and that 10 bricks you shift into the tens column okay so how many bricks left are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay so in third step here one tens are there okay because these tens bricks we have shifted in the tens column okay and eight bricks are left here okay see here one two three four five six seven and eight so eighteen ones see eighteen ones is equal to one ten and eight ones eighteen ones is equal to one ten and eight ones now we will study about second case that is when you have more than 10 tens second case is that if you have more than 10 tens okay so see this is the tens column and this is the hundreds column okay so first count how many tens are there okay so see here this is the one column of 10 because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Ones means 1 10. So, this is the 1 10. Okay. So, count how many 10s are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 10s are there. Okay. So, here in the 10s column 13 tens are there and next step is that we know the 10 tens okay 10 tens means 100 okay so the 10 tens shift into the hundreds column okay so see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 this all 10 tens now we are going to shift into the hundreds column okay so how many tens will remain one two and three okay so in the next figures here we have shifted this ten tens into hundred column so we will get one hundred and how many tens remains one two and three okay one two and three so 13 tens, 13 tens is equal to 100 and how many tens? 1, 2 and 3 tens, okay. So, 13 tens is equal to 103 tens. Now, we will see some examples on regrouping, okay. So, see the instruction, regroup and write the 100 tens and ones and write number, okay. So, see the first example, 54 ones. If we have the 54 floors okay then we have to regroup that 54 ones into how many tens and how many ones okay so see the position of each digit okay so this 4 is at one place and 5 is at 10 place so this 54 ones means 5 tens and 4 ones okay this 54 ones means 5 tens and 4 ones so right 
5 tens and 4 ones and which number form 5 tens and 4 ones that is 54 okay then see the next example 73 1 suppose we have 70 73 suppose we have 73 marbles okay and we have to regroup that marbles into how many tens and how many ones okay so see the position of the digit here 3 comes at one place and 7 comes at 10 place okay so 73 ones means 7 tens and 3 ones so right here 7 tens and 3 ones so which number form here 7 tens and 3 ones that is 70 3 okay then next this is the three digit number so it should have three places ones tens and hundred okay so here 197 ones okay and we have to regroup that 197 ones into 100 10 and ones okay so see the position of the each digit one come at 100 place nine come at 10 place and 7 comes at 1's place okay so this number has 109 10's and 7 1's so which number form here 197 okay which number form here 197 okay then see the next example 147 ones okay and we have to regroup this into the three columns means hundred tens and ones so see the positions of each digit one come at hundred place four come at ten place and seven come at ones place so right one okay so this number has one hundred four tens and seven ones now which number form here read this number one hundred 47 147 okay so today we have learned the regrouping activity